So the new quick sampler in Logic 10.5, it's got loads of drag and drop functionality, um, which may go deeper than you've been shown. So let's look at that now quickly. Um, okay, now we, we already know we can drag and drop audio into quick sampler from outside Logic. Um, you should know this. I mean, basically you just go to your finder. Here's a drum loop. I drag and drop it onto the track header column here. Now, as long as there's at least one track in the track column above, I can drop it into Quick Sampler. We, we nearly always use original, so drop it into Quick Sampler original, boom. And it loads that drum loop into Quick Sampler. Creates a Quick Sampler on the track and loads in the sample, right? And because it's a drum loop, it initially puts it in Slice, but I go to Classic, Activate Flex, and Follow Tempo. And now uh, I can play this loop back uh, in any pitch I like, and it will always stay in time with the project tempo. Uh, slow the tempo down. Etc. Right, we can do all that. We can drag in any type of uh, loop, not just drum loops. Let's drag in a non-drum loop. This is a grime type backing synth loop. Drag it in. Drop into Quick Sampler Original, boom. And there it is. Now I said this is a perfectly trimmed, backing type, melodic loop. Um, it gets put into Quick Sampler on its original pitch, which is C3 in the case of this loop. And if I activate Flex, I can then, I don't need follow tempo on at the moment, I can play it back. At any pitch, it will always play back at the same speed. But if I want it to, because this is a perfectly trimmed loop, if I want it to loop around in time with the project tempo, right, let me just check, I've got C3 there, C3, there we go. Um, I activate follow tempo, and then for non-drum loops, you have to do an extra step. You switch on the looping in forward mode, and you get your loop start marker and put it right to the start of the sample, and your loop end marker and put it right to the end of the sample, and then you derive the tempo from the loop length, boom. And Quick Sample has worked out that this perfectly trimmed melodic loop is 16 beats long, exactly four bars. Now, with Flex and Follow Tempo on, it will play back at any pitch, but also in time with the project. Um, so the project tempo at the moment is one, two, five. <laughs> If I speed the project tempo right up, it speeds up, faster still. So that'll always play in time now. That's how you loop non-drum loops, right? Put the tempo back, something sensible. So look, yeah, you know, we can drag and drop any audio from outside Logic, from our finder. Any types of loops, one-shot samples, anything we want, right? But we can drag and drop internally inside Logic, right? So we can drag and drop Apple Loops. Here's a loop. It's a drum loop from the loop library. Drag it in, quick sampler, original, boom. And there it is. There's my loop. Now, it's a drum loop, so it initially puts it in slicing, but I switch to classic, flex on. Follow tempo on as well, and I can play this back now. It's root key or any other pitch, and it will always stay in time with the project. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Speed the tempo way up fast. Yeah, it always stay in time with the project now. Yeah. Or you can switch to slicing and mess with it with slicing, whatever you like, right? So we can drag and drop Apple loops in. But we can also drag patterns. Like here's a drummer track with a drummer pattern on. Now, any type of pattern could be dragged and dropped into Quick Sampler. And what basically happens is you drag the pattern into Quick Sampler and the pattern plays through the instrument. The signal leaves the instrument, goes into the channel with any effects, and the output of the channel is sampled into Quick Sampler. So I drag this drummer pattern, Quick Sampler original, boom, and it plays that pattern through the kit out the other side and samples it into Quick Sampler. There it is. Yeah. 
Activate flex and follow tempo now. It'll play in perfect time. At any pitch. Right? Or you can switch to slice and slice it and do stuff like that. Right? So any type of pattern this works with. Here's a regular MIDI pattern. This could be triggering a pitched instrument. It happens to be triggering some drums. I drag that MIDI pattern into Quick Sampler Original. Boom, there it is. It plays the pattern through the instrument, samples the output of the channel. Okay, these were uh, MIDI notes triggering drums. So the resulting audio output of the channel is an audio loop, right? So it puts it into slice, but I switched to classic flex on follow tempo on as well. And again, I can now play this. At any pitch and it will stay in time with the project. Let's put a really fast tempo. They're always in time. Fantastic stuff, man. Absolutely incredible. Uh, same with um, step sequence of patterns. Here's a step sequence of pattern playing the deep uh, bass house kit. Drag the pattern, quick sample original, and again it's playing the pattern through the drums and sampling the output to the channel. So remember, any effects on the channel will get included in the resulting audio. Again, the resulting output is, is a drum loop. So it puts it into slice, but I can switch to classic, flex on, follow tempo on as well, and bing, bang, bong. I can play it back at any tempo, uh, sorry, any pitch. It will always play back at the same speed. And it'll, it'll always play back at the project tempo. You can do all that. This, this thing is epic, mate. Uh, but you can sample anything. Um, like um, here is a chord. Basic chord triggering the classic electric piano. So, same thing. I drag the chord. Drop it into Quick Sampler. It plays the chord through the electric piano and samples the output of the channel into Quick Sampler. Bing, bang, bong, there's my electric piano chord. Ready to go, let's put a little beat with it and I can start knocking in some foot flex on and, and now it'll play back. Whoop, but we want to be in classic mode. With flex on, it'll play back. The same length regardless of pitch. And now I can knock in some electric piano type chord house things, you know. All that stuff, man, it's just epic. Absolutely epic. Same thing with piano, uh, regular piano, like here's a grand piano with the chord on it. Let's take that beat off for a minute. Human, get off. Yeah, chord triggering the regular piano. Again, if I want to knock up some piano house, I just make a chord, drag and drop it, quick sample original, boom. It plays the chord through the piano and samples the output of the channel, and I get a resulting chord. Make sure you're in classic. I didn't last time check that. Flex on, don't need to follow the tempo on because it's not a loop. And uh, this will play Always at the same length, no matter where I trigger it. And again, I can knock up some piano house instantly with this. It's just brilliant, man. stuff man it's just absolutely epic how quick the workflow is but it'll also sample through MIDI effects so let's take this off this chord off the piano and let's put a single note onto the piano here now now there's a single MIDI note triggering the piano but I put chord trigger on the chord trigger so that note's going to pass through chord trigger, which will output a chord triggering the piano, like this. Yeah. 
know, actually, let's have a, uh, an octave. No, I can't go an octave low because that's the key range. So there's a, a nice jazzy chord. But it's been created by chord trigger. This single note passes through chord trigger, which creates the chord notes that then trigger the, the, the piano in the sampler. So I just drag that single note into quick sampler. It plays the note through the chord trigger and samples the output of the channel. So I get a piano chord from chord trigger. There it is. Switch on flex and it'll play back. At the same speed, no matter what note on pitch I'm triggering. And again, I can instantly start knocking up some good old piano house with it, you know. Uh, but it goes further than that. It'll also work with the arpeggiator. So here is a transient being triggered from a single note passing through the arpeggiator. Just... Well, it's the same thing. I drag that single note into Quick Sampler and it's going to play the note through the arpeggiator and sample the output of the channel. Boom. There's the arpeggiation. That's a loop. <laughs> or a death. Switch on flex, and in this case, I won't follow tempo because it's rhythmic. And um, and now let's put that beat playing again. Take out the original, and I can trigger this, and it will play in time. <laughs> Any pitch at any pitch. Trust me, this thing is absolutely epic. Not just because of the massive amount of time this can save you. Think about that thing. If you wanted to make a piano chord in the before, you'd have to each either manually create a chord or set up chord trigger from a single note, triggering your keyboard instrument and then render off uh, an actual audio uh, region of that chord and then drag and drop and load that in into the uh, the sampler or you could put it in uh, alchemy or ultra beat or whatever right but now you just drag and drop the flipping pattern and instantly you've got a sampler ready to go with your chord in or your drum loop or your arpeggiation, or anything you like. Man, seriously. This this thing is just fantastic, mate. I'm telling you. Absolutely amazing. So there you go. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Yeah, I mean, are you not entertained? This thing is just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I'm telling you, man, Quick Sampler alone is worth the price of logic. So yeah, subscribe, and uh, as I keep saying, or I'm gonna start saying in these videos more and more, don't just subscribe, please, but also please get the word out about the channel and the videos. Any social media or forums you use, get the word out, and let's try and get this channel going more and more and more. Uh, okay, I hope that's useful. I'll see you for the next one.